Hi friends, welcome back to Alicia's in the Kitchen. Today I am making some fish fingers and broccoli and couscous for dinner. So I'll turn you guys around and show you how I'm doing it. Right here on my cutting board I have, um, this is Mahi Mahi, I have four fillets that I have cut about one half to three quarters of an inch thick so that, you know, the fillets were like that, you know, and then I sliced them across the grain. And then over here in this um, container, this is usually what my cornmeal is in, but it's empty right now, so I just grabbed it to use for this. I have some Louisiana seasoned crispy fish fry. This is good stuff. You should give it a try if you like fried fish. And so I'm going to drop my fish into the batter and give it, a, or the, it's not really batter, breading, and give it a shake. And then um, I'll start to fry it. And for that, I've got my cast iron pan heating with oil in it over here. I've got about a half inch of oil in the bottom. And we also have some couscous sitting back here just waiting for us. And I'm just cooking my broccoli up in the microwave. So I'm just going to get all of these in here, and then I'm just going to shake it up to get them well coated with the breading mix. Um, and then my oil is about ready, and once I get to that step, I'll show you kind of how I know when the oil is warm enough. Alright friends, my oil is hot and ready now. And there's two ways to check this. One, you can see how it's kind of shimmering. That lets you know that it's nice and hot. When I put my spoon down in there, a wooden spoon, it bubbles and that lets you know it's pulling the moisture out of the spoon and that lets you know it's warm enough to cook too. So I'm going to start dropping these fish fingers in here. I'm going to get the rest of these in the pan and bring you back in a few minutes. Alright, so I've got all of my fish in there and I'm once I've got them all in there, I'm going to give it about 30 seconds and then I'm going to flip these because fish does not take very long to cook. Alright, I have let these cook for about a minute and a half on this side and they're just not quite ready because they're not coming off the bottom of the pan. So we're going to give them about another 30 seconds. Alright friends, it is time to take these out and we'll get our next batch going. Um, I ended up cooking these for about two minutes on each side and that's really all it takes for fish this size when you're deep frying it. All right, so that's what our oil looks like after our first batch came out. And we're gonna get the second batch in. Oops. The second batch gets a little bit better coated because it sits in the uh, breading for a little bit longer. Alright, and that's our second batch of fish fingers in. We'll let these go for about a minute and a half or so and then give them a turn. Alright friends, these are ready and we are going to pull them out. Well, not quite ready yet. As long as they're sticking, unless you've overcooked them, that lets you know that they're not ready to come out of the pan yet. Alright, so now these are ready to come off the bottom. I'm going to go with the smaller pieces first. Whoa! That one almost missed the plate, y'all. And that's it, guys. Get that eye turned off. 
It's going to talk to me for a little bit. But you can see, looking at the fish, it's not oily or greasy. That's because our oil was hot enough that it doesn't um, end up soaking in to your breading. It cooks it instead of soaking in. So it's always, if you're getting really oily fried fish or fried chicken or that kind of thing, it means that you're not cooking with your oil high enough temperature. Guys, that's our dinner. Um, couscous fish fingers and broccoli and homemade tartar sauce. Um, we put mayonnaise, relish. We ended up using sweet relish because that was what we had and I didn't want to chop up a dill pickle. Um, a little bit of lemon juice, some uh, smoked paprika, and a little bit of garlic seasoning and that made our tartar sauce. Guys, I hope you'll give this a try and I'll see you again soon for what's for dinner. Perfectly delectable, if I do say so myself.